Hi, this is Kathy from Wheel and Sprocket. I'm in Twin Lakes, Wisconsin, visiting Pam and her electric bike that's changed her life. I'm Pam Parasnik. I'm 72 years old. I'm a mother, a grandmother, a great-grandmother. Pam lives in a beautiful community with many hills. Her goal was to get back exercising in her own neighborhood, but the challenge was conquering those hills. Then Pam read an article about electric bikes. I knew I needed to get out the door, but because I have arthritis in my back and problems occur with sciatic nerve and hamstring problems, um, walking is fine, but I could never really get very far away from the house before I had to turn around and come back. So I, I was considering buying a three-wheel bike with a, a cart that I could just, you know, go to the grocery store and things like that. But it seemed cumbersome and I knew I would buy it and it would be in the garage and it would be a planter. So I was reading an article in Art Magazine about a gentleman who was retired, he was in his 60s, and he, the picture of him was on this bike with a cart and his dog. And it was an e-bike, which I had never heard of before. And likewise, most of the United States doesn't know either. Um, so the article was very informative, and uh, he indicated that he was healthier, had lost weight, and um, he got out every day. The problem was finding a place to purchase the bike. I went on the internet, but that took me to places, you know, um, in Europe, and I could purchase bikes, and they'd come in a box, and then what do I do with it? And you don't know the companies, and you don't know anything about them. So it just didn't seem like it was anything um, it hadn't come of age yet, so I just waited. And then I saw the ad for the Bike Expo on television, and I went to um, the expo and saw hundreds of people my age riding bikes on this track, the indoor track. And um, I tried one out and tried a few out, and the bike that I did end up purchasing was the one that fit me the best. Um, all of the people there were knowledgeable. All the representatives of um, the parts and pieces that go on a bike were all there. And so you got answers from experts and nobody pushed you to buy anything. And I ended up walking out the door, riding out the door uh, with my bike. Pam's new bike is the iZip Vibe, which she found at Wheel and Sprocket. So Pam and I are taking a ride out in her neighborhood. Pam started her iZip Vibe by turning on the battery and away we went. included a tour of the neighborhood, going up and down hills, and biking throughout Twin Lakes. The iZip 5 has three assist modes and Pam used those throughout the ride. The Econo mode is about a 50% assist on the straight and steady roads. Normal is about a 100% assist, and High is approximately 175 to 200% assist to help us up the hills. Pam, how do you like the hills? I love the hills. I had no idea what Wheel and Sprocket was. Um, I thought it was the store in Hales Corners on Highway 100. I didn't realize that there were other stores, and I didn't realize that they had a store dedicated to e-bikes. Um, so when I went there, I was amazed at all of the people that were there from Wheel and Sprocket and were experienced. Whoever you asked a question, they had the answer. They had everything there available for you to purchase as an add-on without any pressure whatsoever. It, it was 
it was really nice. You weren't told you need this, you need that, you need this, and then you buy it, and then it's like, what did I get this for? So I enjoyed the one-stop shopping, and I am really hooked on Wheel and Sprocket. To me, they are, in our area, they that is the place to go. I, I can't imagine going any other place. Well, we'll leave Pam to conquer those hills in and around her neighborhood. And not only is she riding all around Twin Lakes, but she's lost 10 pounds and feeling the healthiest she has in years. We just went for a ride, so we're really happy. Thanks.